Hello again. Just a quick video to uh, share a few things. Um, some of the things that make the Christmas song, uh, to me, kind of special. Uh, I'm looking mainly at the chord structure here. Uh, let's just listen to it for a second and just kind of track the chords and the melody. <laughs> Right there it modulates to A flat. Two, five in G. Two, five leading to G flat. Now back home, two, five leading to the one, E flat. Back to two, five in A flat. Now we're into the middle section. We're back in the key of A flat. Now it's a two five, but in G flat major. This is a 2-5 in B-flat, but it's quick. Back to a 2-flat leading to the home key, E-flat. So let's just take a look at that in another context. All right, so get rid of this transcription here. And if we just look at the basic chords that are in the initial key for the tune. The initial key for the first, what, three and a half measures, I guess, it's in E-flat major. So that's the top listing of chords there in green. You've got E flat, F minus seven, G minus seven, A flat, B flat seven, C minus seven, D minus seven flat five. Um, halfway through the third measure, we actually get a two five in a new key. So if you look at uh, a lead sheet or a book that has the Christmas song, um, on beats three and four, at least in the chord treatment that I have here, You've got a two, five, in the key of A flat, um, leading to the one chord, A flat. Um, so one of the interesting things about the tune is that it starts out in E flat, but it very soon modulates to a different key. It actually modulates, again, if we look at it, the two chord, five chord, and the one chord in A flat. Since the A-flat major chord in the key of E-flat major is the four chord, okay, this is said to be the two of four, this here is the five of four, and that's the one of four, okay? Later, there's a couple of very brief modulations. There's a two, five, one in G, it's also a 2 5 1 in G flat. But these are the two primary keys. And the key in red here, the A flat major, is the key for the middle section of the tune. Uh, the first two A sections and the final A section predominantly take place in E flat. So that coupled with the beautiful melody and what I think are really great lyrics, the lyrics really capture uh, the holiday spirit. Um, are some of the things that go into making the Christmas song what it is, a timeless, great Christmas classic. All right, thanks for watching. Um, subscribe if you haven't. Throw me a like if you find this interesting or helpful or instructive. And uh, hope you have a great holiday season. Otherwise, look forward to talking to you later. Take care.